over to send the green light through. The power is on the bunny up to the boxes. Race number three set the jump. Ready? Racing. Now, Kiss Me Moolah, jumping good in the centre, hot lock. Now, Pixar Nightmare's going to burrow up at the first turn as they run around it. They were followed by Midnight Fury, One Tree Burger, and a good way back then to Little G.I. And further back in the field came Savvy Girl in the run down the back straight. Kiss Me Moolah, the leader, in second place over on the inside, Peaks Nightmare. They were followed by Hot Lock as they travel to the turn, One Tree Burger. And further back to Little G.I. and Savvy Girl, Kiss Me Moolah, the leader, Peaks Nightmare goes to the outside. Kiss Me Moolah, tackled by Peaks Nightmare. Oh, good effort. Peaks Nightmare narrowly from uh, Kiss Me Moolah. Hot Locker on the outside, Little GI, One Tree Vogue. And then came Savvy Girl. And one of the last to pull up is Midnight Fury. It's pretty close, but I think the one on the outside's got it. It's been a jolly good effort because she went amiss going through that catching pen. She just wanted to get off a little bit. And she's got the money. They were pretty close together. But the winner will be number one, Peaks Nightmare. Bash your bone out of cold Ethel. So another youngster by Bas Bale, owned by the Peak Racing Syndicate, Manager S. Peak, and trained by Darren Sultana. And that was a jolly good effort to recover from that little bit of uh, going to the first turn. She got there by her nose. Second to number two, Kiss Me Moolah. Bella said give pack for Peter Keegan. And number four was third, Hot Lock by Donna Lachlan. She's hot for Tom Campbell, little GI in fourth place. The numbers one, two, four, and five. The winning margin of nose, two and a quarter between second and third. And they'd run a 30 and 38. Top effort. One, two, four, and five. First section five, 1787, and she's run home in 1251.